Austin McBroom has been exposed big time. The amount of scams and shady businesses that this dude has been a part of. The sky is blue, you need food and drink to survive, the Ace family scam people. They lie, they seriously lie. The shady dealings of the Ace family, particularly we're gonna look at Ace Fist. This whole Coachella meets Disneyland. Coachella meets Disneyland. Coachella meets Disneyland. The Coachella. Right. Disneyland. They said access to free rides, free games, free prizes, free wildlife park, free live performers. Who should we have perform at Ace Fest? Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, Doja Cat, Catherine McBroom. Guess who got the most votes? You. No, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> you did. Closer to the event, after tickets went on sale, it changed to access to free rides, free games, and free prizes. So real quick, for the people that said that our festival was a scam or that it wasn't happening, you guys can suck a fat donut, okay? Charging too much money for something is technically not illegal. Yes, they lied about a lot of the marketing. Stole footage from a small videographer, walked things back that they promised and all of that. So every event that we have sells out in seconds. Looks like there's a lot, a lot of people that are there super early. We love our early birds. The Ace Festival uh, parking lot so far is pretty empty. We've got six cars. You get great parking, free parking. Why was the parking $10, you guys? In reality, like, you guys got scammed. We're going to the Ace Fest. Yay. Oh, hi there. Hello, hello, hi. It's my face again. Swoop. Swoop. Swoop, 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 swoop. <laughs> okay, so the Ace family. The family, honestly, of my influencer nightmares. But we're gonna dig into the absolute catastrophe that was the Ace Fest, Austin and Catherine's second latest charming debacle that happened just before the new boxing event fiasco because, well, we certainly needed another boxing event from them. So as always, I am going to break this down into three parts, the promotion and ticket sales for the Ace Fest, the promises made versus promises kept, and the expectations versus reality with witness testimony because I am nothing if not a thorough bitch. <laughs> and I lean forward and I pause. And I say these words. Pretty bitch. Now, I don't know what in the whole grain mashed potatoes audacity these folks have, but this family has been accused of, let me go down the list, fraud, scams, SA, cheating, not paying employees, tax evasion, stealing artist work, faking a break in, racist tweets, misogynistic tweets, and exploiting young children for profit. So, you know, winner, winner, sucker dinner. Mm. Allegedly. And honestly, like, let's be real, y'all. Sometimes I know we can take it to Petty University, okay? But I can already tell you, child, buckle up. <laughs> Class in session, this whole doc is about to get extracurricular. <laughs> and speaking of, okay, y'all notice? Y'all notice anything different? <laughs> I am so freaking excited because Petty University season two apparel, the Summer of Love collection is finally here. Ah! I am just, I am so excited right now. So introducing Petty is my love language. <laughs> Y'all know here at Petty University, we stay ready for Petty. And like I always say, Petty is our love language. And I think it's time we spread the love, you know? I am so stoked for this. The new collection has 10 different items, seven different colorways, two different designs. You can grab them right now with the link in the description. And like in a minute, I'm gonna go through and like show you all of the pieces, the colors, the different designs from the collection and explain everything. But super quick, we do have an amazing sponsor, Fetch Rewards, a free app and I'm gonna show you how you can use the free app to get free points from all of your Petty University items and then you can use those points for things like free Amazon gift cards, Ulta gift cards, favorite restaurants, all of that and that's a fact. So really you know if you grab Petty is my love language items you're also earning points for free gift cards for all of your favorite stores and that's what we call a win-win honey. <laughs> so I will explain that then show the collection and then we're gonna dig into the Ace family with some petty love. <laughs> So Fetch Rewards is a super easy to use free app where you can earn free rewards on literally anything you buy. Honey, this ain't a game. It is a free app that gives you free rewards like Amazon gift cards, Ulta, Target. So let me show you how it works. You literally just take a receipt, like I just bought some groceries and you tap to scan and take a photo of your receipt and then it instantly gives you points for your receipt. Just scan, get points, 
Done and done. And the same with digital e-receipts. Like if you shop something from Amazon or Petty University, I'm just saying, you just tap to submit your digital receipts that are emailed to you and you will get free instant points. And then you instantly redeem those points for hundreds of rewards, including Amazon and Visa gift cards. Like I legitimately do this every time. Like I'll shop on Amazon, then I enter my receipt and then I get points for free Amazon gift cards. And then I can shop with the free gift cards and then I put the receipts at, you know what I mean? I am obsessed. They also have a section where if you purchase specific items like this pet food or bath products, you'll instantly get like thousands of points. And even better, if you use my link to download, you'll automatically get 5,000 bonus points just for downloading the free app. I mean, like to me, it's totally a no brainer. Like I'm buying this stuff anyways. It only takes a few seconds. And with just a couple of receipts, I am getting free gift cards. So check out my link in the description to download Fetch Rewards for free and use code SWOOP, which should automatically apply to get an instant 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. And for real, y'all, I mean it. Like if you grab Penny University items, just make sure you download the Fetch app right after you get the items and then input your Petty receipt and get instant points. Sound good? Sound good? Okay, I'm trying to hook you up, y'all. Okay, back to it. Okay, let's dig real quick into the new Petty University Petty is my love language collection. I am so freaking excited and make sure to tap the link in the description to go to the Petty University shop. You can grab your outfits before they're gone, honey. Enjoy yourself. So for the rest of summer and as we move into the fall season very soon, I wanted to create a fresh new collection that brings in some pops of color as well as some classic staple colorways that you can build your outfits with. Now, for those of you who might be new, I launched the very first line, the freshman collection last year. Now I, I had explained before, but uh, Petty University started as this thing that I used to say to myself when I was feeling really shy and like hadn't found my voice yet. I'd say to myself, like, let me take it to Petty University, which is really just code for like, okay, let me relax, not overthink everything and express how I really feel and not feel like I have to hide who I am. So this was a way to give myself permission to just like basically be myself. And I wanted to create that for all of you as well. Just like a way Way to embrace your inner petty which really means embracing your inner voice your thoughts your opinions and like owning them while like you know we can be serious we also don't take everything too seriously like we got a little sass okay and i think that's healthy petty is our love language and that's what connects us and i just i love that for us okay so let me break it down so there are 10 different items two unique designs with seven different colorways which i am so stoked about. So the hoodie and crew neck sweaters have different designs from each other so you can mix and match however you like. They are both just ridiculously soft and cozy. So the hoodies feature the classic petty on the top in the official font and then it says is my love language below and y'all my favorite part this is my actual handwriting. <laughs> what? Yes, honey, it is all about the details for me. And this was something that I really wanted to incorporate into all of the designs to just give you that personal touch, kind of like a handwritten note from me to you. And I'm giving a little piece of me to all of you, just like y'all give me a piece of you and your time every time you tune in here. And I just, I just love that for us. It's like our little insider thing, you know? And then the hoodies also feature the signature Petty University crest and laurels right here. Now the crew neck sweaters, which are equally is soft uh, have a different design so I wanted to create a pocket design like you usually see on a like an original t-shirt but I wanted to do it with a little twist kind of shake it up a little bit so I put the Petty University flagship crest over on the right side instead of the predictable left that you usually see and I just absolutely love how this turned out it, like it's a little more like a little more subtle for those of you who want to be like discreet with your Petty you know what I mean or if y'all just want to be out loud and with it then you got the hoodie as an option and then and the t-shirts, which are hands down the softest t-shirts I have ever worn. They feature the same design as the crew neck in different colorways. So there are hoodies with five different colorways. We have the hoodies in our staple black for a sleek look. Then we have a crisp white, which gives you that Instagram baddie look. Then there's this gorgeous chocolate. Like, let me tell you, I wanted a dark alternative to black and this has quickly become my favorite new color to wear. I have like so many black items in my closet that 
but I just love having this. It still gives you that same vibe. You can wear it with practically any other color. And I am so excited about our three new pops of color. Y'all have been asking, so we finally have the Signature Swoop Minty Blue, okay? I am absolutely obsessed with this color, and I think it is the perfect surprise color to add into your wardrobe. And equally as stunning is the hoodie in violet, because let's be honest, my friends, today we woke up and chose violet. <laughs> But I'm sorry. How beautiful is this color? It is just the perfect kind of like mid-range pastel and I just, <gasps> I love it so much. And for the crew neck, we have three colorways. We have the classic black, a go-to staple. Then we also have the same crisp white as the hoodie for that ultra fresh and clean look. And then this new, absolutely beautiful light blue, which honestly complements every skin tone under the sun. I wanted to make sure it was like the most wearable color and I just, ooh, this looks so good. And for the t-shirts, there are two colors ways we have the same rich luxurious chocolate because I know y'all got like a hundred black t-shirts in your closet okay it's time to spice it up and we have that beautiful light blue I love the light blue of the t-shirt it's a really subtle muted blue so it has a similar feel to the classic white t-shirt but it's elevated with just a taste of that blue and besides the color my favorite part of these shirts and like all of the items is that they have a really versatile length I wanted pieces that are long enough that you could comfortably wear over leggings or drape over your hips or booty. Like if you prefer a little more coverage, I'm looking out for you. Or you can easily tuck or front tuck or tie it like I do. And it gives the items a nice cinched in or cropped feel. And just like the freshman collection, all of the items have a relaxed fit to them. And there is a lot of versatility in how many sizes you can wear, depending if you want like a slightly relaxed fit or an oversized look. For reference, I'm about 5'8 and 160 pounds with some boobage, okay? So these are rack friends. I'm, I'm thinking about your racks, child. So this is me in a size medium. Here I am in a size large. Here I am in an extra large. And here I am in a double XL. And we also have larger and smaller sizes too. I designed it that way in case a size was sold out that you first wanted or like you were a little hesitant on knowing what size would be good for you. You can trust like if you bump up a size or two, it's still going to look great on you. And as far as washing goes, everything is machine washed and like with any graphic printed anything in your closet, it is always recommended that you wash them inside out to make the designs last for years. So child, y'all can pause this video right now. I will still be here when you get back and tap the link in the description to grab your official Petty University. Petty is my love language apparel and treat yourself because honey, you deserve it. The world deserves to know your personality. And please share with me your cute Petty University outfits when you get your items so I can post you on my Instagram and Twitter. Just make sure to tag me. And I want to feature some of you in my upcoming docs. And like I said before, when you grab your items, be sure to then download the Fetch Rewards app and then you can scan your e-receipt or take a picture of it on your computer. And, and then you could get a bunch of points back, get some Amazon gift cards. I'm just saying. And once again, I want to thank all of you for your absolutely just amazing support, not just in watching these docs and engaging with them, but in allowing me the opportunity to continue to build this Petty University apparel line. It has been a long time dream of mine and I'm honestly just so very thankful to each of you and this community we have built together. I just, I love you all so much. I'm so thankful for you all. And then the second ticket option is you get a ticket and then you get a plus four. So it's a total of five people and that's for 4 Okay, little wardrobe change because as I said before, today we woke up and chose Violet. <laughs> So let's dig into the Ace family. Now, I should say that most everything I'm going to discuss is technically all still just alleged. These are my opinions, and you should, of course, always form your own opinion, allegedly. <laughs> I'm just covering my ass here. Okay, so if you aren't familiar with the Ace family, they are a popular family vlog channel consisting of Austin McBroom, his alleged wife, Catherine, we'll get into that, and their three small, innocent children. Now, Austin and Catherine seem to pride themselves on heavy clickbait manipulating their audience into spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on them, allegedly. And their channel has amassed over 18 million subscribers. Like, listen, bitch, I don't get it either, okay? But we are living in a world where pink sauce is trending, so I have essentially given up on humanity. Fuck. 
by care. Now, I've actually done a three-part series on them, breaking down the many alleged scams that both Austin and Catherine have allegedly engaged in. Allegedly, have I said that word enough? I don't know. Now, I also did a deep dive into the root psychology of the potential dangers of subjecting and essentially forcing children to participate in family vlog channels and dissected all of the seriously problematic behavior and potential scams that Austin and Catherine continue to do. And honey, there are a lot. Like I didn't make it a three part series because I wanted to. There were just so many issues. I had to make three parts just to cover them all. <laughs> When the pattern involves problematic behavior that I believe puts vulnerable groups at risk, like, oh, I don't know, impressionable young teen audiences who don't yet understand how to see these signs because their brains are still developing, those types, then when it continues to go unchecked, we all got a problem. How are you doing? What's going on? What you have menus? Um, we got a menu, but we're I'm looking for it. Waffle House. This Waffle House. Let's dig in. The sad news is, this is the last year that the Ace family will be on YouTube. So this whole mess starts off with the Ace family posting a video with the clickbait title of the year, the end of the Ace family on YouTube. <laughs> a girl can dream. So Ace family, I know you guys are probably wondering what's going on with the title. The sad news is, which is today's title, this is the last year. I'm <laughs> like, you say it, like I don't wanna say it. <laughs> this is the last year that the Ace Family will be on YouTube. That sounds weird saying. We actually wanted a year ago to be our last year but we just can't seem to stop doing what we love to do. I mean, we're we're leaving YouTube in a year and we wanted to leave last year, but we just love it too much. Like, why? How many dumpster fires does it take to get to the center of I don't care? Oh wait, no, it's all bullshit. We're not saying that we're gone forever. We're just saying that we're not gonna be as consistent anymore. We won't go ghost on you guys. We'll still post. No one gives a shit about them posting a little less in a year. Like, so why are we here? Okay, Ace Family, and now our next event announcement. Are you guys ready? Now that you guys saw what we have in the store, are you guys not excited that we have the funnest festival coming? Oh my god. Oh man, that was some trailer they put together. Wow, I wonder where they got all that footage from a nighttime carnival that hasn't even happened yet. Hmm. Well, this is exciting, so I hate to burst y'all's bubbles, but Austin McHugh's car salesman just essentially stole that footage from a small YouTube channel, J and Mac Films, who get hired to do like a lot of weddings and special occasion videos, who have just under 8,000 subscribers. What? Yeah, so on June 30th, 2017, that's five years ago, J and Mac Films uploaded a video called The San Diego Fair, a cinematic short. And let's take a look at some of those shorts shots. Now I'm telling y'all, as a filmmaker, like this is just diabolical to me. Like I, I honestly wonder if Jay and Mac even know about this cause their video to this day only has about like 7.8 thousand views. While the Ace Family one currently has like 2.1 million views. And the original creators, like if they don't know and didn't give permission, well, that's a little thing called copyright infringement. And the Ace Family can be sued for a max of $150,000 for said infringement. So, you know, <laughs> bully for you. Ooh, did somebody ask for some swoop mint? Ah, I love, 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 love this color so much. Y'all have been asking for me to do a swoop kind of minty blue hue. And here she is, child, with all of her love language, okay? I've always loved a pop of mint. This just makes me feel very refreshed. Okay, it is time for crimes, honey. Now, I know this entire episode is a class at Petty University, but bitch, let's roll that intro again, okay? Petty University. University class is in session. 
Professor Petty has entered the chat. Now, class, you probably know this, but by the way that YouTube is supposed to work is that if someone uses your content for purposes other than what's considered fair use, like commentary or parody, then the money made from that video is supposed to go to the copyright holder. And you know what? Actually, real quick, we can just look to the smaller, lesser known sister school of Petty University called... Harvard. <laughs> you may have heard of it. <laughs> well, Harvard University defines fair use as fair use of a work for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarship, or research, is not an infringement of copyright. To determine whether a given use is fair use, the statute directs, one must consider the following four factors. The purpose and character of the use, including whether the use is of a commercial nature or is for nonprofit educational purposes, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of the copyrighted work. So in this case, the ASFAM just used the footage as if it was theirs to promote their event that they're going to be profiting from, and it was uncredited, and the amount that they used is, I don't know, basically the entire footage for this event they're promoting. Copyright infringement, bitch. So we're off to a great start here, kids. I don't know about you, Steven, is this looking good? Sarah, what do you think? Okay. What I think is only fair in this situation with the carnival video footage that they took is that Jay and Mac should get all of the AdSense money from the Ace Family's video that got 2 million views. Okay. Sound good? Great. Now, by the way, this might be premature, but let's just put some perspective here. Here's the promo video again, and what the Ace Fest, which we'll get into, actually looked like. This place was a ghost town. Class dismissed. So every event that we have sells out in seconds. You guys know this whenever you guys get on the website to buy purchase tickets. Okay, who's in the mood for a very sleek petty? I love a crew neck. I am obsessed with crew necks. It's a little discreet, but you know what I mean? We still got Petty University and she's still our love language, okay? <laughs> okay, so now that they've got us freaking hyped for this event, I'm sorry, maybe I need to tone down my sarcasm right now, but now that they've got us excited, let's get into the tickets. Woo! Tickets go on sale April 9th. Mark it down your calendars for right now. You guys should be like this right now. So every event that we have sells out in seconds. You guys know this, whenever you guys get on the website to buy purchase tickets. Oh right, that's right. Like this one? Now he's dead. Then they explain the tickets. So when the tickets go on sale, you'll go on the website and there'll be two different ticketing options. First ticketing option is gonna be the silver one. You buy a ticket and that's a plus two. You purchase a ticket and then you can invite literally whoever you want, plus two. Wait, what? Okay, so I can invite literally whoever I want. Literally whoever you want. Plus two? So that's like, is that four? Oh no. So okay. one ticket counts as three tickets, basically. Exactly. So that ticket is $2.99. So that's basically like $100 a person. So with that ticket, you'll get free rides, free games, everything that our festival has to offer. Okay, okay. So free rides, free games, everything the festival has to offer. Everything that our festival has to offer. I mean, that's a lot of free shit for $299. What am I paying the ticket price for? Okay, ticket option number two. And then the second ticket option is you get a ticket and then you get a plus four. So it's a total of five people and that's for $4.99. Yeah. So it's $100 a person again. And then with that ticket, this VIP pass gold ticket is something special. It is valid for the entire year of 2022. Oh, awesome. So this ticket is good not only for admission to the one day Ace Fest, but also good for the admission to the Ace Fest for the rest of the year, even though it's happening just this one day. And this is the best part. You're guaranteed to meet the Ace family, us. We get to meet you guys! So that's like really special to us because this will actually be like our first actual meet and greet. Cool, got it. Now to be fair, I am coming at this super jaded, okay? I just don't trust them hoes, okay? There, I said it. All right, Sally, Sally. Does anyone name Sally anymore? Well, Sally's over here, okay? I'm sorry, Sally. And like, I don't personally think they're excited to meet their fans. Like even the enthusiasm in these videos that they were posting is just like so drab. You're guaranteed to meet the Ace Family, us. We get to meet 
meet you guys. You're guaranteed to meet us. We get to meet you guys. Us. I don't actually think they give a shit about the people. I personally think the McBrooms are as fake as my lashes and full of fertilizer if you catch my McDrift. Okay, what else, what else? Wait, 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 there's more. You also get to watch my next fight for free, which is coming up. Okay, so you get to watch Austin's next fight for freezies. You pay an amount in US currency to then receive goods and or services for free? This is not how free works, McDude. There's just, <laughs> this is the thing about them that gets me every time. The way they word things. Literally everything is hidden behind word camouflage. Waiter, I'll have the prime McRib with a a word salad on the side. <laughs> Sounds delicious. You get to watch my next fight. And and what's worse, like he probably doesn't even know what that means either because guess what? The fight has been postponed, y'all. Shocking. This fight was supposed to happen before before the Ace Fest, after the ticket sales, mind you, but before the Ace Fest. When is the actual festival? When is it? And where is it? Where's the location? So we can't give that to you today, but you'll obviously have it when the tickets go on sale. We will say that the event is here in the Los Angeles area, and we will say that the event will be happening sometime in August. Okay, so boxing in July and Ace Fest in August. Well, we know now that obviously the Ace Fest happened on July 9th and the fight is, well... All I could really say is that it has nothing to do with me, but the fight, Austin versus Gibb, may potentially have to be postponed. All right, okay, yeah, and then... All right, so the July 30th date is officially postponed. Sh shocking, okay. And the thing is, there may be an actual reason why the fight has to be postponed, but when your boy over here be crying like wolf every other weekend and twice on Sundays, it is impossible to believe this clownery, allegedly. <laughs> Y'all, how pretty is this light blue? Like, I love a pastel moment, especially for fall. It's one of my favorite things to put in the wardrobe. How pretty is this? It just, it looks so good. Ah, I'm so excited about this color. Okay, back to the tickets. Then we're also picking another random two VIP pass members to join us at our wedding. Okay, so I thought of this idea and I'm literally just like so excited for this because what? <laughs> Real quick, the last thing for everyone who purchases the VIP pass is everyone gets an exclusive wedding gift from us. Oh, okay, I know that's a lot of math. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought they shared photos of a private ceremony years ago and they said they didn't want like a public wedding situation. We never, we never said we weren't married. We just didn't say that we were married. Correct. But here we are. Like, and it was. It, it was, was a very special moment for us at that time, and we didn't feel the need to have to go to Vegas or. Yeah. But wait, hold up, okay? Because a bitch is confusion. So is Catherine even a McBroom? Like, these are the questions that I don't care about. But raffling off tickets from the Ace Fest to be a guest at your wedding that you said already happened. Ah, oh, come on! What in the whole grain, gluten-free, carb-free, honey bunches of oats, foolery? Is is this, especially when the Ace Fam has a hard ass track record of raffling off things to their friends. So next Friday, January 11th, the Ace Family is giving away $100,000 to someone who can hit 10 three point shots in a row. If you think you can do it, hit us up. I know I can do it. I picked someone out of the stands that wasn't in the contest just because we really wanted to give it away and I felt like he had a good shot. Next thing you know, he wins the game. You know they're probably just gonna give it to one of their friends who they were gonna invite anyways. It's probably gonna be like, and the winners are Landon McBroom and Austin's mom. Ding, 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 come on down. Like, I see you McDoomsday, okay? I'm not even mad at you. I mean, I'm totally disgusted, but you know, I'm not mad. Okay, so what do we get for these tickets? Wait, 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 stop this. Okay, stop, stop all of this. Petty University, okay, roll the intro. I'm looking at this flyer and I just noticed that it literally says valued at $900, bitch. Like who, <laughs> like, who put a value on this? Like you can't, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like you can't just make up some random ass value on shit and then like cross it out and be like, look at the savings. You know what my mama would say right now? My mama would say <laughs> they valued at 900 lies. <laughs> 
like, do not pass go. Do not collect $900. <laughs> Don't do it, Austin. Okay, Austin, no. Someone just needs to tell him no. Austin, no. But wait, there's more. Now on this printed advertisement from their website, it says these tickets are already marked down from their value. It's kind of like, you know that furniture store that somehow had a going out of business sale, like everything must go banner in the window for the past six years and they still here. Yeah, this is that. <laughs> and by the way, this is like a total sidebar just popped into my head, but do you remember when Austin made a ton of colorist remarks about black women on Twitter? when he was a grown ass adult and then got called out and he blamed it on like old tweets and then used his mama to defend them. Just in case you need a reminder of who we're dealing with. I wanna share an issue, a major issue in today's society. Huge issue. We are talking about brothers who mistaken these fat girls for being thick. thick. St. Louis is scaring me away from black girls. Blondes with blue eyes are looking more appealing. I need a massage. Where are my little Asians? Saying we have nappy hair and we all look ugly or whatever like. Recently, there has been some people who had said something negative about me. They said that your son is Oh, wow. Towards black people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In 2011, about 15,000 tweets ago, so they went back in my old tweets, right? Can't do black girls, because after I'm done, I'm gonna have to pay for their hair. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Oh, God. Listen. Austin McBroom is a oh. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I'm talking about it because it's humorous to me. Sorry, I got distracted. It's been a long day. McBroomery and all. Okay, let's get back to the tickets. Click the link in the description right now. Make sure you enter your number. I'll put, I'll put you your number. I'll put your grandma's number. I'll put your damn teacher's number. <laughs> Everybody get the one. Y'all ain't ready for a clean ass white look. What? I am obsessed with an all white look. Ooh, it's so sleek, so slick, yes. Okay, sorry, I'm very excited about this. But let's shift gears here. So what exactly is the Ace Fest? What is there to do? Now they left this very nebulous excerpt for it that it's Disneyland meets Coachella. Right, okay, sounds pretty dope, right? But like, what does that actually mean? So does that mean like three days with hundreds of super famous artists and bands surrounded by like a well-established themed cartoon franchise? Well, it's unclear, but what was clear was posted on their website. So there will be access to rides, free rides, access to free games, access to free prizes. It doesn't say free food. Like, listen, honey, for 500 dollars, bitch, I better be getting at least a fried Oreo or a jumbo pickle on a stick, okay? I'm waiting for my pickle. Oh, a wildlife park. That sounds fun. And access to free live performers. Okay, I have questions. Lots of questions. Oh, right, all oh, right. Okay, so I'm buying the tickets for access to free stuff. Got it. And can your girl get a little clarity on like live performers? Like, is that gonna be Beyonce since it's like Coachella? Or is it just gonna be like free Beyonce? Because, you know. My name is Beyonce. Free, access to free. Oh. Hey, I didn't expect you. <laughs> Welcome to my studio. Okay, but like I've never I've never heard the term life performers without some context of what it would be that they will be performing. Like, is it just that the Ace Fam is there, life performing griffs in front of your very eyes? Is like Tony Robbins gonna pop out of a cake and change my life? You haven't done what's necessary and you know it. That's why you're on the fence. All right, so now that we understand a little bit better, let's look at some price comparisons because maybe this isn't the worst deal on the planet. We already know that it is because it stinks of the McBrooms, the same people who openly said you got scammed. In reality, like you guys got scammed. But let's just play along for a second, okay? Let's look at the two that they are comparing it to, Disneyland and Coachella, right? So Disneyland scales their price depending on the day and if you're a California resident, but it can be as high as a whopping $249 for a single ticket. Like what the fuck is happening to the world? Nothing says happiest place on earth, like taking your kids for a day trip and then filing for bankruptcy. Okay, now Coachella I expect to be kind of pricey, but I can get a general admission ticket for 
all three days, $510. That's a buck 70 a day. And that's a lot of bands, a lot of stages, a lot of high priced expenses. And I actually think that that's pretty reasonable. So how about Universal Studios? $104 a day. If you could manage to con two other people to going to the Ace Fest and have them pay their $100 each, then they are equally priced. So can Ace Fest live up to the Universal Studios in value? I mean, I know Ace Fest is valued at $900, but let's see, it's gonna be tough, right? Like does the Ace Fam have any franchises as loved and recognizable as, oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, Star Wars. No, they don't have that? Okay. Mm. Now, how about Six Flags Magic Mountain? They only clock in at $83.99. Uh-oh, Ace Fest, you better have some real good rides if you wanna step up to the Magic Mountain. I'm walking around the event was pretty empty and everybody online was saying, why does it look so empty, like sold out? Like, yeah, right. Let's be real. The Ace Fam is not gonna build a state-of-the-art roller coasters for a one-day event. I also wouldn't put it past them to put some coin-operated, like, jiggy thing that shakes you around a little bit. But wait, there's more. <laughs> they make sure to remind you to give them your phone number so that they can spam you with texts about their BS. Click the link in the description right now and before you take a look at the website, make sure you enter your number. There's gonna be a pop-up. Put your number in right there. Really make sure you enter your number on the website right now. You have to do that. Make sure you enter your number. Really make sure you enter your number. You have to do that. Put your number in right there. You enter your number. You have to do that because you'll get to know the exact time when tickets go on sale so you don't miss out. Go enter your number right now. You're number, I'll put your grandma's number, I'll put your damn teacher's number. <laughs> Everybody get an alert. I don't know what they plan on doing with your number, but this is like terrifying. Like, <laughs> yeet. And because I guess this wasn't gross enough, Catherine has to chime in with this real quick. You guys get to really pick and choose like who you're gonna go to the event with, how you're gonna structure the payments to also, you know, take off work, take off school. I'm. Excuse me, did, did they just say so I could plan to take off work or school? You want me to take off school for this? Oh hell, hell no, honey. Okay, look, I ain't asking Timmy to take notes for me while I'm out getting jiggled around on the dollar store coin slot ride. <laughs> Anyways, so the tickets actually did go on sale and surprise, they did not sell out in seconds or even minutes or even days or ever, but they did go on sale. They took an Instagram poll about who should perform at Ace Fest. Who should we have perform at Ace Fest? Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, Doja Cat, Catherine McBroom. He threw her name in as a joke. Okay, so Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, Doja Cat, or Catherine McBroom. I'm sorry, <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm trying to get through this. Normally we like do some serious stuff on this channel, but like I just, I needed the, we just need a little comic relief right now. So first of all, who who is Catherine McBroom? Since y'all ain't married, I guess, then like, who, who is that? <laughs> I'm just, we wanna be technical about this. Austin, do you really think that we'd actually believe you could book Doja Cat overnight, bitch? Like, oh, I'm sorry. But let's not get it twisted. They did not even decide to post an image of the votes because we know no one's voting for Catherine, okay? Guess who got the most votes? You. No, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> you did. No. So you know what that means. You gotta perform at the Ace Family Fest. Oh man, this is fun. Now, obviously this did not happen like they are all playing it out to be, right? Because remember, they removed any and all access to live performers. And how are you gonna list like Chris Brown? Like child, Chris DV McBrown, okay? We did not forget, at least I didn't forget, okay? Next. So now they just removed the wildlife animal park and the live performers. Wait, what? Okay, they removed half of the attractions after after people bought tickets, you changed what you promised after people spent hundreds of dollars. This isn't like $5 and then like, sorry y'all, didn't work out. This is like hundreds of dollars. Just like what in the, I just, oh, no more wildlife park, which I'm pretty sure was code for a petting zoo and you can't even get an effing petting zoo. Like I was only in this for the giraffes, my dude, okay? How am I gonna pet a giraffe now? Oh, <laughs> 
This thing is just dumber than like a porcupine in a balloon factory, okay? that That's just bad management. Now, when a porcupine is scared, it curls up into a ball. Just imagine a spiky football. Oh, ouch! Okay, great, so now what? Well, after the event didn't sell out in seconds, the Grifty McBrooms did what they do best. They clickbaited, saying the Ace Fest is canceled. <laughs> Shit, you not. What's going on? I know, I'm so mad right now. Like, you what, know, you, what, what do you mean? What the hell? What kind of freaking bullshit is that? I know, I just got the call literally like five minutes ago. This was part of their marketing tactic to say that it was canceled. We don't have all the rides up just yet. We have the entire day tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not canceled. It's about 20% up right now. 20. So this is literally a traveling fair. Yeah, this ain't Disneyland meets Coachella, okay? Even my grandma knows you're full of brown stuff right now. The reason why I say 20% because usually it takes them about two to three days. It just started setting up. And then he listed the things again. Over 30 rides, plus games, plus food, plus vendors, plus everything else. Rides, games, and food? Like, is that free food plus vendors? Like, that's the first that I've heard of this. So you mean that vendors who sell stuff to me, which is not not free huh okay so one three hundred dollar ticket gets me plus two guests into a local traveling carnival with unlimited rides games something about food and vendors to let me purchase things from them well i can't wait to see how this goes so they did announce the location and remember when they said it will be in the la area when's the day and where is it? Where's the location? So we can't give that to you today. We will say that the event is here in the Los Angeles area. Well, it's going down in Lancaster. Now, if you live in Southern California, you probably know where Lancaster and Palmdale are, like way out in the sticks. And if you aren't from here, then you probably have never heard of it because it's way out in the sticks. Here's Los Angeles and Lancaster is way over here, over an hour away from the center of Los Angeles, like over the river and through the woods, bitch. And we ain't even going to grandmother's house, okay? Literally the fastest route now is all the way through the Los Angeles National National Forest, then keep going deep into the desert. Oh, did I mention that Lancaster is the desert, y'all? What kind of, what kind of angle is this? Oh my. But you know, at this point, it does look like the event is going to happen and ooh, Lancaster is heating up. I mean, like really heating up. The day of the Ace Fest, it was reported 95 degrees with that like dry heat, making it feel well over 100 degrees. And we could see by this thermal band reading for most of the day, it was way beyond comfortable, like far past hot and just plain sweltering. But knowing Austin, he'd just market that as hot fire. It's lit. Literally, I think a tumbleweed went by and it just burst into flames. <laughs> but you know, not to disappoint, before the gates had opened, Austin had some words for all the haters out there. So real quick, for the people that said that our festival was a scam or that it wasn't happening, you guys can suck a fat donut, okay? Because it's happening. I mean, a scam doesn't mean you say something's gonna happen and then it doesn't. A scam is a dishonest scheme of fraud. Let's just see what happens. Be prepared for some just drama, some unwanted, just weird vibe, weird energy coming towards the Ace family name in the next month or so. Just be prepared that that's coming. Also, Catherine had some words of warning that the drama channels would be coming after them. Don't click these drama um, channels. Don't click these news outlets because they're just trying to get you to click. Oh, right. I'm sure it's not because y'all have a long track record of not delivering on promises and a dirty laundry list of excuses and deflections, shady business practices, and just straight up grifts, right? Right. Couldn't be that. Oh, and did I mention that the tickets are still available two days before the event? So when they begged you for your phone number and warned you it would sell out in the first 30 seconds. Make sure you enter your number. Really make sure you enter your number. You have to do that. Nope, plenty of tickets available here. Oh, but not VIP tickets because those sold out because, well, they never actually revealed how many of those were available or how many they sold. They just decided to say that they were sold out, I guess. Also, VIP tickets are sold out. They were sold out on the first day. So now they updated and started offering a single general admission ticket for $120 plus an $8.93 service charge. 
You guys are used to us selling 20,000. But it technically is 20,000. That's the thing. Y'all, my mama told me it is always a good time for chocolate. So mom, this one's for you. <laughs> but seriously, isn't this? I just love this color. It's just a really nice, refreshing take on like the black shirt. All right, so back to the story. So here it is, the big day, and it looks um disappointing. Yeah, we'll go with disappointing. This is what the event looked like from above in the middle of the day. As you can see, at this point in time, there weren't too many there yet. But as I heard from one of the vendors, more people were going to show up for the nighttime. If they had said that this was a carnival meet and greet, I would have been like, okay. As I'm walking around, the event was pretty empty and everybody online was saying, why does it look so empty? Like sold out, like, yeah, right. I don't know, it's kind of like, it's kind of exactly what we thought it would be, right? Like, you know, it's like, a, it's a traveling carnival, but for four times the price it would cost usually to get into a traveling carnival. But remember, this is supposed to be Disneyland meets Coachella. Well, yes, if you took the hostage price markups from Disneyland and the scorching heat from Coachella Valley and slapped it on a discount carnival in an abandoned JC Penny parking lot then I guess you know mission accomplished so we've had the team there all morning and looks like there's a lot a lot of people that are there super early we love our early birds our early look at that the ace fest is right there the ace festival uh, parking lot so far is pretty empty we got six cars seven including mine now luckily for us some creators and possible critics of the ace fest actually attended the event to give us some inside video coverage of how it all actually went down so we will get to see some highlights of the ace fest not only them. that you get great parking free parking you get to meet the ace family you get um free rides you get great parking free parking but why was the parking ten dollars you guys hey Hi, $10. is this for the ace festival as well yes you get great parking free parking then we see the turnout, at least at the opening. 15 minutes before opening, I would say there's probably about 300 people here now. Okay, so 300 people showed up when it opened out of the 5,000 total tickets. Oh wait. You guys are used to us selling 20,000? But it technically is 20,000, that's the thing. Yes. Or, or maybe after all that one plus two for 300 or one plus four for 500. Like, did you did you even need a ticket? So we made it past security, folks. <laughs> they didn't ask for our tickets. <laughs> so spend money for no reason. Um, OK, so let's see what access to free stuff we get at the Ace Fest. This is the Ace Fest. This is what five hundred dollar entry tickets get you. So you get access to water. Psych. You actually have to pay two dollars for that. Found that out the hard way and you have to pay it in cash as well or else no hydration for you. Now, let's take a second and look at these free rides. I mean, it's your basic carnival shtick, like Tilt-A-Whirl, Ferris Wheel, and barely anyone is on them. So I guess if you were in the market to ride these types of rides many times in one day, then the Ace Fest might be just for you because there's like no one on them. The rides were clear and empty for my taking and using as much as I would like. Now here's Swell Entertainment's video riding the mega slide and dragging coaster <laughs> I mean you know nothing to be mad at there oh crap uh, what <laughs> <laughs> Darling, she is giving mint chocolate chip realness right now. Uh, ah, ah, oh, I love it, especially as we get into fall season. Are you kidding? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now, speaking of chocolate, let's look at the food at the event. Because one time Austin had hinted at free food, but then also said vendors. So they had a lot of food trucks, and even though food trucks are generally like kind of pricey, they're usually pretty good. But then we have the classic carnival food, and like just look at these prices. Like what child, nothing like 10 bucks for cotton candy, what? $9 for a jumbo corn dog, and $3 for a 25 cent bottle of water like what in the Michael B Jordan spread evenly on a whole wheat sesame seed bun dollop of nonsense is this and let's not forget to mention the soda is cheaper 
than the water. Now that's what I call family friendly. This is from the family that makes Silly Juice. And let's just take a quick trip down memory lane on that one. So what is in Silly Juice? Blueberry, apple, lemon? Nope, 31 out of 37 grams of added sugar in 10 fluid ounces. It's like this big. Just to give you a quick comparison, there are 39 grams of sugar, only two grams more in a 12 ounce larger can of Coke, but they market Silly Juice as a healthy beverage for kids. Like just don't buy Silly Juice, just don't. Just get some regular ass 100% juice and call it a day, okay? Now a big part of the scam borough fair is that everything is free, right? Or you have access to free stuff like the games. And what do we have to play? Well, it looks like all of the regular carnival games, you know, the, the ball in the bucket, ring toss around a floating duck kind of thing. Oh, and also the classic throw darts at Austin's postponed boxing opponent's face taped to balloons kind of thing. And you can actually win prizes for free, except, and I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> Except, and I just, <laughs> the, <laughs> the prizes, the prizes are just outdated, unsold Ace Family merch. Okay, there we go, there we go. Can I get the Ace Family scarf? So let's see what else you could win. Look at that. We just won. This is what we're paying $121 for. Who needs Palm Angels when you have Ace Family? I'm sorry, this is just, it's so absurd. It's just funny to me at this point. Oh, and you have to turn in your ticket to get the free prize. So you can only win one outdated, unsold Ace Family piece of merchandise. Ah, shucks. <laughs> Come through, baby blue. Okay, so we are nearing the denouement of this story. So we are talking about the meet and greet. So it seems like this was the biggest attraction here. Like people were literally paying hundreds of dollars just to meet the McBrooms. Their fans were there to meet them and it's no shade to the innocent fans. Like, you know, they're, a lot of them are very young and they just like what they like. And the line was so long, like so very long. Look at these lines, y'all. Like, and think about it. It's in the hot ass hundred degrees degree desert sun where you got to pay three dollars for a drink of water but i mean luckily austin and Catherine are in that shade though now the line was so long and the sun was so hot that in true austin fashion he announced on his instagram for people to get out of line and come back when the line was shorter if you wait in the line for hours you can always come back when the line is shorter and meet us, we're gonna be here till 10 p.m. We love you guys so much. We can't wait to meet you guys. The line didn't get shorter because lines do what lines do. And as many people got up and left the line per his instructions, more people just got in it. So it's like, there you are, people waiting in line when the Ace Fam had to make bathroom break, when the McBrooms had to take a food break. Like people were just waiting for them to do all these things. And there's just no organization to this at all, except to get in line and, oh, wait, get out of line and come back when it's just as long, but now you're at the end of the line. So the sun was too much for everyone and like that can honestly get really dangerous. So at one point they were able to move the meet and greet indoors, which I think was to everyone's benefit for sure. And they moved the entire thing indoors, which they should have done from the start because there was air conditioning in there. There's security there, there's more people. All lining up to meet them way in the corner. How long have you guys been in line? Two hours exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Exactly on the dot. This is where we see deaf noodles of all people meet the McBrooms and promptly get yeeted out of there. How you doing? How you doing? I'm a big fan. Huge fan. Like a little, like a little star. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> so I, I want to ask him some life advice. Yeah. How do I learn to scam as good as you? Scam? He didn't, he didn't come to be came to be funny. No, I'm I'm for oh. real. I'm a fan. Come on, <laughs> Wait, no, for real. Come on, it's it's good. Good. No, no, no. Come on, What's the? Salute. 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 I just want to be like you. I want to be a scammer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm for real. Can I be a scammer like you? Yeah. I got kicked out. And we even found footage of a fan filming this from across the room as well. You know, we love some coverage. Why is security talking to him? Okay, good. Oh yes, there you go. The security is touching his shoulder. <gasps> what did you say, Dev? 
Oh my God, what did you say, baby? So now it's getting close to the end of the day and shockingly, the massive crowds never came. And it's just crazy to me because if you're so proud of your event, wouldn't you want people to eat their words by coming in and seeing, oh wow, y'all really did it. It's like a sign that they know this isn't what they promised people in the beginning. But there was still a long ass line for the meet and greets. We're talking well over a three hour wait. So at 7.45 PM, Swell Entertainment said that they stopped letting people into the meet and greet. All right, they are officially not like Letting anyone else in to meet them. Uh, some people are pissed because they were told they were allowed to leave to the bathroom and uh, they're not being let in because they're saying there's a hard time to stop. However, no one made that very clear, was, as in that was not made clear at all. The Ace Fam had advertised that the meet and greet was supposed to go the entire length of the festival from 12 noon to 10 p.m. So more broken promises. And Austin and Catherine were literally not gonna be at the festival doing anything else but meeting you. Except they do have pictures they posted of them riding rides with their kids. So I presume the meet and greet line just like waited for them to do that too. I'm sorry, but like the fact that it's that hot where people could be in danger of actual heat stroke and they didn't pay to just set up a text line where people could just wait in a virtual queue, you know, like since they collected all their phone numbers and all. And then what happened to the people who took Austin's advice to get out of line and come back when it got shorter? Guys, this is how the Ace family is treating their fans, paying $500 to come and they can't go meet and greet. Oh, they were just turned away as if it were their fault for listening to Austin. These are the people who paid $500 and were guaranteed to meet the Ace family. Guaranteed, except I don't know. Not. Oh, and here's the Ace fam leaving with security at around 9 p.m. So they didn't even stay till the event ended. And there's Catherine and Austin leaving the DJ booth area with their horde of security. Cool. So now let's take a second, see what the attendees had to say. Thanks to Atozi, who went to the festival, took it to the people and asked them exactly that. Can I ask you guys how long you guys have been in line? Two hours. Two hours? Do you, do you feel like you guys are getting your money's worth for this event? Oh. No? No? <laughs> okay. I was expecting more. You were? <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I like it. I improved. Do you feel like it was worth your money? No, not really. Do you feel like you got your money's worth? No. Do you feel like you got your money's worth for the event? No. Do you, do you feel like you're getting your money's worth for being here at the event? Oh yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, Have a wonderful day, guys. <laughs> What's funny about this interview is this guy actually commented on my live stream after my live stream was finished saying this. I don't know if you remember me, but I was the kid in the brown shorts with the stars. I'm glad I got in for free because if you paid $120 to get in, you got scammed. I lied when I was talking to you because I thought we were hired by the Ace family. Yikes. And you know, what did Swell Entertainment say? Ooh, there goes a nail. Oh. And there goes my back. Mediocre is not the word, even though I guess you could say that that's the entirety of this event. And then, charmingly, Austin's dad decided to make an announcement to all the haters. To all those ace haters out there, you guys know who they are, who said this was a fake event, it wasn't real, it wasn't happening. We showed them. Seriously, like I can't, I can't believe you'd be so garish as to address the haters to the people who paid money to be there and support you. Like they're there to have community with you and like you want to talk about some haters who aren't even there. Like, especially when you didn't deliver half the stuff that you promised to them, allegedly. This was not worth that much money. I don't care who you think you are. This was not worth that much money. If they had just come out and promoted it for what it was, a meet and greet carnival, then there would literally be nothing to talk about here, but they did what they do. Self-aggrandized, oversold, underdelivered. Disneyland meets Coachella, like what is that? Again, just call it what it is for fuck's sake. A meet and greet carnival without the giraffes. Still trying to meet a giraffe over here, okay? Oh my goodness, what do we have here? I think it is time for a kitty palette cleanser, y'all. Everyone say hi to Pork Chop. Hi, Pork Chop. Oh, you're so cute and a little annoyed, and that's okay because I love you. <laughs> so be sure to grab your very own brand new Petty Is My Love Language items. He lives in Petty, doesn't he? <laughs> 
Uh, grab all of your Petty Is My Love language items and embrace your inner Petty, honey. You are going to love it. You can tap the link in the description. I am so beyond excited for all of you to see it and wear it. Thank you so much with all of my heart for your support. This has been such a dream come true for me to be able to build Petty University with all of you. And I just love us so much. And then also remember to download the free Fetch Rewards app and then you can upload your Petty University receipts or like take a photo of it on your uh, computer screen and get tons of points to get free Amazon gift cards. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and tag me in all of your Petty outfits. I love seeing your outfits and I will repost you on Instagram and Twitter and feature you in the new docs. Uh, speaking of a couple of Twitter shout outs from my last doc where I dug into the true crime case of Dorothea Puente, an absolutely intense story. If you haven't seen it, it's linked below. First shout out goes to Baby Duck Lays who said, just finished this and I cannot believe how this granny tried to pretend she didn't do anything wrong. Oh my gosh, right? Like, does it get any worse? Also, your puppy is so cute. Second shout out goes to Shay Nell who says, say less, reaches for remote. Listen, we love a straight to the point queen and happy belated anniversary. I saw your couple's photos and they are beautiful. If you want to be my next Twitter shout out, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Spanky V linked below and retweet this video right here. Also hit me up on Instagram linked in the description. That's where I post most often and respond to a lot of DMs. Okay, honey. Oh, you're getting heavy now. You're my big boy, huh? You want to go back to sleep? Okay. Oh, you're so cute. Listen, after digging into all these incidents surrounding the Ace family, one thing has become even more abundantly clear to me. <laughs> Don't trust the Ace family. It is a dumpster fire ass hot mess. <laughs> Allegedly, I mean. I mean, of course, like make up your own mind. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but personally, I just don't think that they've proven to be very trustworthy people. With the continual patterns we've seen over and over with them, the manipulation, the power abuse, the alleged scams, and the never ending drama and scandals, it seems like nearly everything they touch winds up blowing up in a terrible way, yet the only people who ever seem to be left in the ruins are their fans. And that just doesn't sit right with me. Like, I hope one day either they pivot from seemingly taking advantage of their fans and remember that fans are not a commodity, they're people. People who deserve respect, especially when they're taking their hard earned money, lots of it, and time and spending it on events where you make make big promises and then leave everyone hanging while they move on to the next big thing, the boxing event. I don't know if they'll ever be held truly accountable for the things that they have allegedly done, but I do know one thing. We, the viewers, are the ones with the power to decide if people like this to continue to have a platform where they can abuse their power in the first place. We decide with our clicks and likes and comments who is given a platform to influence the masses with. And there are so many honest good creators out there worth tuning into and when we do that the trash just has a way of taking itself out and you know when all else fails <laughs> stay petty and after all petty is our love language and we got a lot of love to give so you know what y'all got this class dismissed swoop